Hey everybody, it's me, your old pal Dan Classic, and we're back at it again for the last episode of me November and the season finale of the Dan Classic Show. All right, what are we looking at today? I don't know, Jess, you got any ideas? What? You don't know? What the hell? You said you'd figure it out. You're such a liar. What are you talking about? You lie, Gorilla. This is just like in the first episode this year when you were supposed to review Action Jackson. The Carl Weathers movie? No, the Mego! Oh shit, you're right! Well, today we're looking at Action Jackson by Mego. Better late than never. Or just in time. It's still the 50th anniversary of Action Jackson for a few more weeks. Raz Holly, hit the music! <laughs> we took a look at the Fighting Yank, Mego's first big product that was actually a huge ripoff of Hasbro's G.I. Joe, which got the company into hot water right off the jump. Never to be discouraged, Mego still liked the idea of an action fighting man with interchangeable outfits and evolved the idea into an 8-inch clothed Mego figure that we know today, and the first one is Action Jackson. Action Jackson is my name, bold adventure is my game, think of what you'd want to be, then call on me. I want to drive a Jeep. Action Jackson. I want to drive a snowmobile. Action Jackson is my name. Bold adventure is my game. Think of what you'd want to be, then call on me. All items sold separately by Mego. Action came with his signature jumpsuit, white boots and belt. Standard Action came as a Caucasian or African American. There was also one with a beard. AJ sold well initially, but quickly cooled off and was ultimately considered a financial failure for Mego. I think at least initially it was cool to have a smaller, more compact version of the already established G.I. Joe that sold at a lower price point. For a figure based on collecting a fuck ton of accessories and shit to go with it, this was probably a great selling point for consumers at the time. Anyway, don't feel too bad for Mego as Action Jackson would be the inspiration for the world's greatest superheroes line, and that line is considered by many to be one of, if not the best toy line of all time. Today we'll take a look at the Action Jacksons I've been able to assemble. I've got some originals, a few new Mego versions, and a special 50th anniversary 2-pack from Castaway Toys and a couple of fun and easy customs that you can make at home. So let's not waste any more time and take a look at Action Jackson. All right, do and dare, he's everywhere from 1971. It's 
Action Jackson. Um, let's take a look at him in his uh, original box here, um, including stick-on tattoos. And as far as I know, this one is complete. The box is a little beat up, obviously. It's not in, in not in great shape, but it is in pretty good shape. You can read everything. We've got all the all the great art all over it, and we're gonna take a look at this thing um, because it is fifty years young this year um as we have the action jackson um insignia the logo uh, in the in the top left corner it looks like it is it is uh emblazoned on the box in a in a certain liquid um anyway um <laughs> action jackson is my name bold adventure is my game think of what you want to be and call on me eight inches tall um, <laughs> mod styled hair. Don't don't forget, he's got the mod styled hair. Look at this, he's the mod style, obviously. So we we have this action Jackson. We also he also came with a beard, and there was also a uh, an African American uh, action Jackson for children over five years of age. Uh, do and dare, he's everywhere. Um, let's take a look at the back of the box. Spinning it around here, we've got the the collect them all. Um, and instead of collecting all the different uh, figures, we have collect all the different outfits because not unlike G.I. Joe, Action Jackson um, was a figure that was made to come with all sorts of crazy um, outfits that you can swap out. Let's take a look at the selection here. I do have a few of these. John Wilde, a friend of the show, um, has been very graciously, graciously sent me a, a, a ton of action jackson outfits and uh we're gonna go through them and then the ones that i have i'm gonna show you um photos from my very own collection um so let's get started here we have the aussie marine the air force um i do have an air force one um but i, I didn't i didn't i ran out of action jacksons to put in the damn outfits and uh and so so yeah i have i have an outfit but it's just an empty outfit um sorry about that we have uh for Raz holly we have the Navy. We have the Navy Action Jackson. We got a Frog Man. We got a Scuba Diving Frog Man. We got the Ski Patrol. We got the Army. Um, the, the photo is really awesome of the Army one. <laughs> um, and we have the Rescue Squad in the uh, the, the the foil outfit. Um, we have Western. Um, it's a because uh, we're cowboy sort of style. We have the Scramble Cyclist. Uh, the Jungle Safari, the Secret Agent, the Snowmobile Outfit, the, the Fishing. Um, I mean, that's just sort of like he's he's hanging out. He's going to go fishing. It's like everything else is like crazy action. He's out. He's doing. This guy's like, you know what? Fucking gone fishing, motherfucker. We also got hockey, baseball, karate, football, surf, and scuba. Um, I just looks, looks, looks like surf in the in the photo but i don't have that one so i mean i guess you, you want him to come with more than just a fucking pair of trunks right <laughs> it's quite kind of a cheap outfit also uh we got the the action packed toys as they're called um some different accessories and vehicles um i don't have any of these um but some of them do look pretty dope the wild mustang battery operated remote control <laughs> It's a horse that's remote control. Have you ever heard of one of those? Um, well, Action Jackson had one. It looks pretty cool. Rescue Copter. It's also battery-operated remote control. Battery-operated remote control scramble cycle. Well, of course, if you're going to have a scramble cyclist, you're going to have the, uh, the, the, you know, the vehicle to go with them. The snowmobile. The jumping jeep. The strap-on helicopter. <laughs> <laughs> the parachute plunge really works. Water scooter, battery operated, and the fire rescue pack really works. What do you mean really works? He can really do fucking perform a fire rescue? He's an 8-inch action figure from the 1970s. But let me tell you something. This guy had outfits, outfits, outfits. Anyway, um, let's get this guy out of the box and see what he looks like on the inside. 
Okay, so here he is. This is a Type 2 Mego body. You can tell because the uh, the rivets are made out of plastic. Um, gotta be kind of careful with these older ones. They can come apart um, pretty easily. Um, but you know what? Looks like, um, I don't know if this one's been opened before, but he's pretty clean. He's got um, his all of his stuff with him. He's got his dog tag. He's got his uh, decals. Um, they're just stickers. Um, I don't think these are fucking actual, like fucking with those weird tattoos that you put on with water. If they are, that's pretty wild. And I've got them. They're right here on this little fucking piece of cardboard. Who cares? Um, but yeah, here he is. He's Action Jackson and it's a Mego figure. I mean, a, a classic uh, Mego figure from the 1970s, a type two body. Um, Sturdy as you please, 50 years young, man. You can't you can't break action, Jackson. He's built for action. Do and dare, smash him everywhere. And uh, yeah, he looks great. He's got his little jumpsuit. Let's take a look at a friend of Action Jackson. Here's Action Jackson with a beard. Check him out. Um, is is the the bearded Action Jackson, which I believe I got from uh, from John Wild. Look at that. 50 years old, man. It's a, and, he, and he still looks great. Smash him on the friggin' ground. He ain't, it ain't nothing. You can pose him. You can, and unlike the new Migos, we can we can spread the wings out. We don't have to worry about little metal hooks in there because it's just a little nylon cord. Um, you, you know what? On those new ones, you can restring them. But why the fuck should I have to? I shouldn't have to. And, and like, because when you were already made these things, right? the first time these are really really cool figures um and you can you know change these dumb uh, jumpsuits out of here he doesn't look like fucking logan's run anymore and uh and you can, you can put him in a karate outfit you can make him a biker you can make him a fucking indian chief you can do whatever the fuck you want and you can put put him in the batman costume and that was what's great about Mego is all the all the switchable outfits or whatever but that's action jackson uh, from 1971. Okay, so from 2018, here he is. It's Action Jackson. Um, Action Jackson is my name. Bold Adventure is my game. Doing Dare, he's everywhere. You can't really read the whole thing. It just says he's everywhere. Anyway, um, we have ages eight and up. Uh, this is, again, before we knew the, the sad truth that uh, uh, children... Uh, under the age of 17 um, are, are just in fucking mortal danger uh, being around 8-inch clothed figures made by Mego Corp. But anyway, um, official limited edition action figure with original detail and quality 14-point articulation, Marty Abrams presents... Mego Action Jackson, um, the original uh, property of Mego. Uh, <laughs> It's not a little bit derivative of G.I. Joe, but hey, whatever, that's cool. Uh, what we got out of it was one of the greatest toy lines of all time. And I'm not talking about Action Jackson, I'm talking about what came later. I'm talking about the eight inch clothed figures. The figures where you could swap out the clothes. And you, and you got all the different characters. You got Spider-Man, you got Superman, you got Thor, you got everybody. And uh, and, and that's the, the that's the best thing about Mego right there. Now, this is the, the, the Mego revival. A new Mego, as some people like to call it. Um, it seems like uh, Action Jackson coming with a firearm nowadays um, just, to, just to spice things up. But let's see if he can actually fucking hold it in his shitty Mego hands. Um, we've got Action Jackson in the uh, in the lime green or the uh, the avocado <laughs> jumpsuit there. Let's turn the box around and we have a, a photograph of the original Action Jackson. I don't know about you guys, um, but I'm not a fan of the face. And now the, I can't say much about this about the face on the new Action Jackson, but the uh, the, the the old Action because it's based on the one that's the old one, and um, I didn't like the fucking look of the old one. The one with the beard is a little bit better, but he's got kind of a weak chin. He seems kind of I don't know. There's just something about him I don't I don't particularly trust. Don't trust that face. But anyway, um, <laughs> that's, let's get this figure back around. We've got the the the, the stars and stripes just emblazoned across the uh, the back here and the, the the pink rainbow 
the streaking across the center there, this the terrible fucking graphic design um, that they, you know, it looks like they slapped this together in a few minutes. At least there's an actual photograph be it very low res you you didn't have a fucking an action jackson that was in good condition that you could take a fucking picture of and get like a high res photograph for the back here or how about we just fucking take a picture of this and put it on the back there I, I, oh, anyway anyway officially licensed detailed eight inch character authentic retro packaging um we just saw the, the old school package. Does not fucking look like this. That's bullshit. Pose figure in any action position. Well, you could with the old ones. Original Mego toy line and quality limited edition numbered for collectability. Holy shit, fucking John Wild fucking sent me about a million of them. So they're not super, they're not super rare. I'll tell you that. Collect them all. Collect, collect all of them. They made one fucking action Jackson anyway. Mego trivia. Time for Mego trivia. Where did Mego get the name Action Jackson? Well, the answer you'll be surprised to see is from Phil Jackson, coach of the New York Knicks. Okay, so in 1971, um, when they would have named this fucking figure, uh, Phil Jackson was power forward for the New York Knicks. Uh, Phil Jackson was the head coach of the Chicago Bulls, most memorably, and also of the Los Angeles Lakers. Uh, Phil Jackson, however, was never, and he was the assistant coach, I think, of the Nets, the New Jersey Nets, but he was never the fucking, the, the head coach of, of the New York Knicks. He played for the Knicks. He was drafted by the Knicks in, in 1969 or something like that, or 67, some shit. Um, and, and so I, I, they named it after him. Um, did they give Phil Jackson a fucking couple bucks for this? We're just gonna go ahead and just fucking admit it that we we based this on a, on a fucking actual public figure and, and didn't fucking cut him a check. Well, you're opening yourself up to another goddamn lawsuit, Marty. Whatever. Anyway, let's get this goddamn thing out of the box and see what it looks like. All right, so here he is outside of the box. It's Action Jackson um, in his uh, dark blue jumpsuit. Um, it's Amigo. Uh, the, the, my, my main problem with new Amigo it isn't necessarily anything that, that gets mentioned all the time. It's not really necessarily the distribution. It's not the, 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 the poor fucking uh, uh, choices of, of licenses. It, it's not the, uh, the, the, the shitty sculpts that we tend to see. It's the fact that the body in the 1970s was perfect. It was absolutely perfect. And while lower, the lower end of this is more sturdy, or feels more sturdy at least, than the old ones, the top half does this. Do you hear that? You hear that? There's a little fucking metal hook that's coming out of the inside here. And we're gonna, I'm gonna take a look at a, at a new Mego body and an old Mego body, and we're gonna compare them um, right next to them. We're gonna strip these goddamn things down and get them nude, and we're gonna, and we're gonna, and we're gonna check them out. We're gonna do that here in a second, but we're, we're still taking a look at Action Jackson, a brand new Action Jackson that I just took out of the fucking box. Let's, let's get this, get this gun in his hand um, and see. He kinda holds it. He kind of, I mean, it looks terrible in his fucking hand. Um, this is the accessory that he came with, made for him, we have to assume. Um, because I, I, don't, I can't remember any other Amigos that came with a with a pistol. Um, did, the, did the fucking Faxlid Tootie come with a fucking pistol? I don't think so. I got a Tootie. She didn't come with a gun. Um, and uh, yeah, doesn't really fucking hold it all that well. Um, but I mean, as far as the outfit concerned, looks good. He's got his little white boots. He's got his white belt. Um, the Action Jackson logo emblazoned. Of course, the uh, the shitty hands on the uh, on the on the Mego body. But that is is modern Action Jackson. Now, would you look at this from 2021? Castaway Toys. Um, sent me this. 
for for my money. I paid for it. Um, I did not get this for free. Um, this was a, uh, a special a pre-order limited edition thing by Castaway Toys. We've got a 50th anniversary Action Jackson set. Um, we got two Action Jacksons um, here. We've got a, a one sort of based on the beardy uh, classic Action Jackson with the silly looking face. Um, and he's got the, the, the rolled up eyes there. And then we have the uh, more modern look um, or, or even or at least a, a, a better look. Because, honestly, honestly, I don't like the fucking face on, on Action Jackson. On the old school Action Jackson, on new Mego Action Jackson. But this Action Jackson, look at that. That's awesome. You got a, a guy, you, looks, there's, that's a fucking uh, a head you can hang your hat on, so to speak. But like, let's take a look at this box. Contains small parts recommended for ages 15 and up. These, are, This is teenager toys right here. Um, kids under 15 would surely die if they were to touch these. Action Jackson and Action Jackson. We got two logos. We got a more of a, a, a cooler looking, just a flashier, modern looking logo. And uh, the old the old fucking uh, money shot logo um, that we remember from the old days. Two fully articulated 8-inch action figures um, when we have the Action Jackson uh, 50 years, 1971 to 2021. Do it there. He's everywhere. The original 8-inch man of action. Um, and we have some stuff in Japanese there. Maybe that's what it says. I don't know. It could say fucking whatever it wants to say. Because I can't read Japanese. Let's turn this goddamn thing around. Since 1971, Action Jackson is his name. Bold Adventure is his game. The original 8-inch action figure. Um, we do have the, the big story of Action Jackson. Wall of text. I'm not going to bore you and sit here and read the whole goddamn thing. But um, it's very cool. It talks about all the different, uh, you know, the history of the figure. Uh, what was available. Uh, all that good stuff. We've got the Castaway Toys logo. In all seriousness, these guys do make some good shit, and I'm very, very happy to get this. Um, I wanna, I wanna open this goddamn thing up and see what these guys look like on the inside. So what I've got to do here is that we've got a resillable collector box. So all I gotta do, pop that some bitch right open, and we'll have it'll be Action Jackson time any moment. All right, so here we have the uh, Castaway Toys Action Jacksons. Um, and we'll, well, let's take a look at a classic Jackson here first, or classic style Jackson at least. Um, because I say classic style because he has the swishy style uh, jumpsuit, but it is kind of a newer look. And uh, it has the nice little zipper on there. And we've got the, uh, the, the white belt, just like always, old school style. And uh, it's got the uh, the Action Jackson, the old Action Jackson uh, logo emblazoned on there. Those little white boots look just like the old school ones. Um, and then the face, um, the beard and the uh, and the hair, a little lighter color um, on on uh, old school style Action Jackson. Um, and uh, one thing you'll notice on this Action Jackson is he is on an S type body. Um, both of these fucking figures are on an S-type body, and um, which makes them way more poseable, way better. Their bodies aren't going to just snap back into place because they're filled with rubber bands and horse shit. You can do all kinds of awesome poses with them, and uh, Action Jackson can actually get into some more fucking action. And now let's take a look at the um, this style Action Jackson. Look at this fucking guy. He's What a great sculpt. I like this. Look at this guy. Fucking man, you can just imagine this guy punching somebody right in the mouth. Um, his jumpsuit is more of a canvas jumpsuit. He's got more of a, a different logo there. Um, it also uh, zips up and down if you want. You want to fucking show off the chesticles on there. Um, if not, zip it right back up. He's got um, some some cool looking, like more combat style boots on. Um, nice little pocket on the knee. Real pocket, real pocket. You can put shit in there. You could hide his fucking weed stash, um, whatever you want to do. Um, yeah, it's Action Jackson, man. He looks fucking great. Um, and, and you know, I know what you're saying. You're like, oh yeah, he still got the Mego hand down there. You gonna complain about the Mego hands? Um, no, I'm not gonna complain about the Mego hands. You know why? Cause they came with fucking holy hands, and they came with fucking fists. So if I want to put a fucking couple of fists on there and have him be a street fighting man or, or have him 
get, you know, hold his fucking, oh, look at this. This, the old school Action Jackson comes with a pistol and a new school Action, look at this, chromed out. <laughs> Desert Eagle stock. <laughs> at least I think so. I mean, like, I'm not a gun guy. Tell me what the fuck this, this is supposed to be. I don't know. It's fucking, it looks cool. It looks dope to me. And uh, um, I'm, you know, put these, uh, you, you can put the hands on there and they can actually hold them because they come with fucking holdy hands. Um, this was a great deal. Um, I, I just want to say right now, these guys made some really, really awesome figures. Um, if you're if you're looking to see where if you're, you're searching online you're, you're scouring the internet trying to find them um, you missed them you fucking missed them so <laughs> I don't know what else to say I get I got them I was able to, to, to pre-order them and get them in time they shipped right out and uh, man they're they're fucking awesome I'm so glad I've got them in my collection um, but uh, don't lose hope because you can actually make your own action Jackson at home and I'm gonna show you how right now all right so I didn't take all the clothes off of the old Mego body because I, I this is I didn't really feel like fucking with the feet um, but I, I just wanted to uh, illustrate something to you guys um, so taking a look at the original Mego build um, it's not all that different from the new Mego build we have the, the same amount of pieces um, the, the same sort of put together um, the new Mego body's got a little bit thicker of plastic a little bit harder it feels like I feel like I could squeeze if I squeeze this hard enough I might break it this thing um, nothing's happened to that it ain't going fucking nowhere um, but the main problem with this is that take a look at the old one hey look I can move the arms up and down all around legs same thing too because the cool thing about the old one is that it has this nice little nylon cord inside this nice nylon cord with the cloth covering um, up nice little elastic um, sometimes you can change these out and it's fine and um, and and they're fine and you have these nice little ribs to keep the arms in place they're not just smooth on the inside so that if you want to do certain poses and stuff you can get those poses out of them and uh, you have the maximum amount of posability on there um, of course we all know you can remove the head it's just popped in there it's got the little uh, mushroom shape that you pop in there and uh, and that's great that's great and then in 2018 when we decided that we wanted new Migos, um, instead of just putting a nice little nylon cord inside of the Migo body, what they did was they they put these these hooks and these rubber bands, these black rubber bands um, that are really really tight, like. And um, so the problem is, is that, you know, that, that wouldn't be such a big issue. The rubber bands wouldn't be such a big issue if they were threaded through the little holes in the shoulder because they're built with a little hole. But there's a metal hook that's hooked through there. The hook is connected to the rubber band and the rubber band is connected to itself and, and throughout the whole body. And that's what keeps the, the goddamn thing together. The legs are fine. The legs are great. You can move the legs all over the fucking place and it's no big deal. But the arms, whenever you go to move it, this is what happens. You 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 end up with these, you know, it's it, it goes into itself. The This hook comes out. It hooks off the end. Um, if you play with it enough, imagine if the shirt's on, you can't fucking tell where the arm is. And, you're, and you imagine a little kid playing with it. Well, what's going to happen? What's gonna happen is eventually the arm's gonna fall off or it's gonna be you're, it's the, the fucking, the, the cloth of the shirt or whatever the fuck is over it is gonna get all like tangled up in it and it becomes impossible to fucking pose. And if you don't know how they're built, if you're just looking at it with its clothes on, you feel like you're fucking breaking the goddamn thing. Um, and you might break the goddamn thing as if you can see right there, the hook is already digging through there. These can be restrung and it's actually not that hard to do. I, I don't know why they did it like this. It seems almost that it would be more expensive to build the figure like this, and it doesn't make it any more sturdy or any more fucking playable. Okay, so what we have here is the S-Type body. Hooray! Um, and, and I got it from where else? ClassicTVToys.com. Um, head on over to ClassicTVToys.com and you can find um, pretty much everything I'm going to use in this build with the exception of Action Jackson's jumpsuit, which I just took off of that uh, shitty new Mego 
Action Jackson. Um, the S-Type body um, is a, a bandless body, a body that has uh, ball joints everywhere. I, I fitted him with some uh, two holdy hands for double guns action, motherfucker. And uh, and so what I'm gonna do is like, what are you gonna do about the head though? You're gonna use some um, some Action Jackson head? How are you gonna do that with when there's a hole in there and they're not compatible? Well, I, at a ClassicTVToys.com, uh, where I got the where I got the body and I got the the hands, I also got this head, um, which is not unlike the one <laughs> from from the, uh, the the Castaway Toys. So if you were wanting to get one of these Castaway Toys figures, you, you missed out. But you can actually build your own, and it, it's almost as good. It's almost as good. Um, you know, the, the jumpsuit on that one's pretty awesome. Comes with this head and this little uh, piece that we use to make it compatible in there. Um, all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a little glue, glue this together um, so that it doesn't fall off inside the body. And then um, I'm gonna open up the body um, with a little screwdriver and uh, open up the screws, put the head on the body. And uh, and then we'll, we're gonna take this Action Jackson jumpsuit and put that on there. And then I'm going to fit them out. I got these uh, awesome little boots also at ClassicTVToys.com. And I got him a couple pistols as well, right there at the at the same place. And so for not very much, um, I can't remember exactly how much all that shit cost. Um, but I mean these these Action Jacksons, they're they're a fucking diamond dozen. You can find these all over the place, uh, nice and cheap. And then um, the S type body, believe go runs about ten bucks. Uh, boots, couple bucks. Heads, few bucks. Yeah, a couple guns, a couple bucks. Um, so yeah, not too bad. And, uh, and I'm gonna put it all together and uh, see what it looks like. So uh, let's see what he looks like all put together. All right, so here he is. It's uh, my custom action Jackson that I built um, with pieces from ClassicTVToys.com. Got him a couple of, got him doing the, the double wielding with the with the pistols here. Um, and as you can see, the uh, the action Jackson uh, outfit from the Mego, from the new Mego, actually fits really well and uh, looks really cool on this. Uh, and I, I put these taller boots on him. So if you want to have them bloused or if you want to pull them all the way down um, to give them more of a traditional look, you can do that too. Um, so yeah, it's a really, really cool um, thing to do. Really easy too. Like a lot of people um, might get intimidated or, or, or scared away um, by trying to do customs or, or putting together toys and stuff like that when really it's very, very easy. And if this is something that you want to have, um, then yeah, it can easily be done and you can do it yourself and you can all by yourself you can make this thing and, and you can have yourself an action jackson that doesn't look like shit it doesn't look like the new Mego action jackson that's really awesome and uh, i fucking love this thing it's 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 really dope it's an awesome action jackson um and, and it, it goes well it's not as cool as the uh, castaway toys one the castaway toys one um does come with a cooler jumpsuit um uh, that, that can't really be helped um but yeah pretty much almost the same thing because we do have an s-type body we have all the posability um and it's sturdy it's not gonna break it's not going anywhere it's fucking action jackson and uh, i made him myself now, for the stuff i found at classictvtoys.com so go check them out um give them a, a look and uh yeah i think you'll be impressed with what you can what you can put together when you when you start fucking turning the wheels inside your head you can think of all sorts of custom shit that you can come up with there and so finally from 1988 it is carl weathers as action jackson which had nothing to do um with the uh the, the migo license where they basically just ripped off somebody's nickname uh, who was a base a basketball player and uh and now they don't even know uh, whether he was a coach or a fucking uh a player um but <laughs> not, not based on phil jackson not based on amigos action jackson or whoever owns action jackson now um but this is the from the the, the motion picture Action Jackson. This is a custom um, that I made with pieces from ClassicTVToys.com. Obviously, I made uh, and also used the Remco uh, Rocky figures. I uh, picked up an Apollo Creed um, that was uh, all beat out, with and, and the head was even kind of messed up. Did a little repaint on it, 
spruced it up, made him look all nice, gave him an S-type body, gave him a gun, uh, gave him his, his red shirt that he wears in the film, his, his light jeans, and uh, I also gave him Action Jackson shoes from the 1971 Action Jackson. Um, got, got a pair of these um, just, to, just to add a little extra Action Jackson to my Action Jackson. Um, so another Action Jackson custom for the Action Jackson versus Action Jackson versus Action Jackson versus uh, Action. Oh my God, Action Jackson. Well, that's Action Jackson. What did you guys think of these figures? Let us know in the comments down below. I'm just glad it's all over. Well, it's over for now, but we'll be back next year with more episodes and more reviews. And more Mego. Probably. Hmm. Stay tuned to find out next time on the Dan Classic Show. Raz Holly, hit the music! <laughs>